Hey, Snickerlous here today. Yes, today we're back with old hardware, new OS. This time we've gone pure Debian. Yeah, pure Debian. This one is Saline OS 1.7. It's based on Debian Squeeze. So if you did install this one, it'd be a little bit more work for you. And you're saying, what do you mean, Snicky, a bit more work? Well, you have to get flash, and sometimes the sound don't work for your sound card, because it is for Debian Squeeze, okay? Most of the time, it's fine. The other times, it's a bugger, okay? But when it's actually running, it's super duper, yes, yeah, super duper. It comes with auto update and stuff like that. I mean, I go, I look for it with you quickly <clears throat> and show you how much stuff it's using. Chromium is its main browser here, so you can clear out your Chromium browser, cache, and flash cookies. Auto update, it just auto updates the whole system. It's basically just sort of a get update, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here we have a wire connection, which is working correctly. And here we have my recording, and here's my audio stuff and stuff like that. Right, I'll show you what I've put in and what's available. You got usual XFCE, oh, by the way, it's XFCE, yes. Again, XFCE, yes. Runs super fast. So you got all the XFCE stuff up here in the settings for XFCE. The NVIDIA drivers, when installing, when you install the actual system, uh, near, near the beginning it says, do you want to install the NVIDIA driver, the older one that works? And of course you say yes, because the newer one might not work for you, might not. But there's stuff in there, you know. Okay, under accessories, you get quite a lot. Do you see what I mean? Look. You can take a screenshot, root terminal, mousepad, calculator, archive manager, where you actually see stuff for printing, graphics, <clears throat> excuse me, photox, okay, photox is there, we'll open another one up, we'll up, gimpage up as well, what else are we going to open up, we'll go back to graphics again, no, no we won't, we'll go to multimedia, we could open up cheese if you wanted to, but I've not got my camera plugged in, there's the mixers here, record my desktop here, because we're using it, of course, the pro media players here, so we'll open that up as well, nice and nice and quick it is, We'll go down to multimedia again. And so we open up WinWF, yeah, so we we'll up as well. And then we're going to go down to System, and we'll see how much we're using. Now I've installed HTOP here, because it does its job, basically. I'm going to bring it up here, and if you can see, well, we're using about half, a third to a half of the CPU, basically, at the end of the day, and 222 megs of our RAM out of the gig we've got it. Remember, it's a Pentium 4, 3 gig, and 1 gig of generic RAM here. And we've just opened up all them programs, right? Not doing anything at all. We've got a desktop and all that. Here, that's what I'm so we're going to get rid of that first, and then that, then we'll get rid of that, and you should see the RAM come right down, and the CPU usage. Do you see what I mean? And we go down to basically nothing once it stops hogging, 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 hogging. Right, the browser as I said before is Chromium, which is down here. Get a nice little pop-up bar, which is customised, by the way, as you know, which is not the same as you. I your mail client, Pigeon, LibreOffice. Right, that really needs updating. This is version 1.7. Version 2 will be available as soon as Wheezy is released. So this is based on Squeeze. I've tried Wheezy, and it's a lot, lot better than Squeeze. It really, really is. It, it just is, basically, at the end of the day. Osmo is also here. I like Osmo. Get a animals out there. Perot, I've just opened all these. Rhythm Box as well for your music. I love Rhythm Box. XF Burn is also here for burning. Catfish. Gigula. Yeah, Gigula. Yeah, Gigula. Yeah, file settings manager and settings managers down here. Synaptic package manager for installing all your stuff. So you just type it in and you'll find it. And determine up. Yeah, determine up. So as you can see, we're not actually basically using too much at all, really. No, we're not really. It's running really, really nice and snappy. I'll close out. What I'll do, I'll quickly open up the browser for you. There we go. Open up nice and large. We'll go to the tube. See how quick that is? Nice and snappy, innit? I'll put me up here. I have installed Flash, by the way. Okay, we'll type in there. I'm going to go down to one of these somewhere along the line. Want to kill all humans? Yeah, I want to kill humans. No, not really. Okay, we'll see how it plays. And it should play hunkily dory. Remember, I'm only capturing at 15 frames a second here, just because it's a Pentium 4 free gig. So, you know, so you could actually do everything you wanted to on this system. There isn't a problem with it whatsoever. It's just entirely up to you what you want to do, you know. That bloody advert, eh? make sure we're playing nice. Will it go any bigger? Well, of course it will. So we'll make it a bit better quality. And we've got one to a larger player. Ain't too bad, is it? Should we open HTOP up again? Yeah, let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Yeah, HTOP's the one. So, uh, ASAP up. Of course, using Flash is going to get... Actually, I'm very impressed with that. I mean, we've got it on a medium screen. If I had it full screen, it'd be whoosh over the top, wouldn't it? But it's not actually using three quarters of our stuff, is it? So, super duper. I'm impressed. Okay. You know, a lot of RAM, but what do you expect? So, if we close Chromium down, 
in theory, that should all start zoom, see? It let go all the RAM and most of the CPU stuff as well. So if you want to go pure Debian, and, you know, for a change, and you just don't want to go Debian, and you want some stuff already installed for you, Saline OS is here for you. By the way, this Saline OS install thing, it doesn't go anywhere. Like if I go in here and delete it, I just can't find it, so something's gone wrong there along the line. Isn't it? But I'd wait, if you really want to, I'd wait for the new version to come out because Wheezy's really out really soon, okay? And that will cure a lot of problems with, with sound if you did have problems with sound and stuff like that. But apart from that, it's super duper. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you. Bye, see you, bye.